to Naples, Italy, a city known for its beautiful architecture, rich history and delicious food. Today we're going to explore some of the best things to do in Naples, and I'll start by saying hello. It's James from Via Travelers, bringing you more VT goodness from Italy. Here at VT we're committed to showing off some of the world's best and least well-known destinations. Travel tips, tricks, as well as a sack of gorgeous photography to get you in the travelling mood. If this sounds like a cup of espresso, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to keep up to date with the latest content. Alright, enough dilly-dallying, let's get into the meat of this pizza pie as we explore Naples. The first thing you should do once you arrive is get out there, get familiar, get adjusted to Naples. Via the Via. That's a word for street in Italian. And now you know a little bit about our blog's name. Anyway, Naples is known for its charming streets, lively piazzas and beautiful buildings. The best way to explore Naples is to get lost in the city's narrow streets and alleys. From just walking through the city, you'll discover so much history and culture. Arguably the best place to do this in Naples is on Via Toledo, the longest street in the city. This three-quarter mile long street is one of the main shopping streets in the city and dates back to the year 1536. It connects Piazza Dante to Piazza Trieste e Trento, which is not far from Piazza del Plebiscito. Along the route, you'll find some of Naples' most well-known museums and landmarks, including the Real Teatro de San Carlo, the Royal Palace of Naples, and the Toledo Metro Station, all of which I'll get onto later. Castel Nuovo is one of the most famous castles in Italy, and can be found directly across from the port of Naples. It is an astonishingly well-preserved fortress and one of the most emblematic sites of the city, and was first erected in 1279. The castle is made up of five massive towers, and also features two watchtowers, an armory hall, and a chapel. On the upper levels you can admire paintings and other works of art by Neapolitan artists from the 17th through the early 20th centuries. Under the armory hall you can view ancient Roman ruins through a glass floor. This is one of the top attractions in town for history and building buffs, and one of several castles and palaces in Naples. But I am just blown away by this place. You can't possibly visit the modern birthplace of pizza without taking a tour of some of the best eats in Naples, such as homemade pasta, fresh seafood, baked eggplant, and everyone's favourite saucy flatbread. The best way to taste these flavours is to visit small family-run pizzerias or trattorias, You'll get to enjoy an authentic atmosphere, along with your authentic Neapolitan cuisine. We suggest visiting Pizzeria di Mascella, which is very popular with locals, so you know it's the business. Speaking of good eats, while you're visiting Naples and the rest of the Campania region, you'll definitely want to try some food and drink that are native to the region. This includes Neapolitan pizza, I mean, duh, zeppole, mozzarella di bufala, and lemoncello. Did you know that underneath the city of Naples, there is a hidden world of underground tunnels? These tunnels were built nearly 2,000 years ago, and they served as aqueducts, bomb shelters, and even a place for conducting illegal activities. The Bourbon Tunnel, or the Galleria Borbonica in Italian, was built in 1853 for King Ferdinand II of Bourbon. Originally built as an emergency escape route from the palace to the military barracks during periods of unrest, the tunnel transformed into an air raid shelter and military hospital during World War II. Within the tunnel you'll find memories of the Second World War, including handwritten messages, wishes and hopelessness along its walls. In addition to the evidence of war and civil unrest, you'll also find plenty of antiques like cars and motorcycles, along with statues that were found in the tunnels and displayed. Then there's the San Gennaro Catacombs. This ancient Paleo-Christian site of worship and burial dates back to the second century, and is believed to be the tomb of a noble family. It is named after Saint Januarius, a patron saint of Naples. Everything in the catacombs was carved out of the earth, including a bishop's chair, altar, and tombs. Visitors can discover ancient basilicas, frescoes, mosaics, and paintings throughout the San Gennaro catacombs. You'll also get to see its 4th century expansion, Bishop Paul II's baptism from the 8th century, and Byzantine paintings from the 9th century. Seeing how these artifacts have stood the test of time is truly incredible. One of the top things to do in Naples is to visit the Naples National Archaeological Museum. The museum's collection focuses primarily on ancient Roman sites, but also includes art and artifacts from the Greek and Renaissance periods. 
Additionally, you can find many pieces from the ancient cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum, including over 250 pieces of sexually themed artifacts and erotic art, which is excellent if you don't have time to visit those sites during your trip. A popular non-European collection is the Egyptian collection, which is the second largest collection of Egyptian artifacts in Italy. The expansive collection fills seven rooms and covers aspects of Egyptian civilizations including power, socio-economic organization, and the world of the dead. Other great collections include the daily life in the Vesuvian area, frescoes, the Temple of Isis, and a scale model of Pompeii. Still here? Bellissimo! Thinking about enjoying more of our content? Come on, give it a try! Just hit that subscribe button and I'll get out of your hair. Now where did I get to? Oh yeah! Naples things. Another one of the best things to do in Naples is to visit the Royal Palace of Naples. It was built in 1600 and served as a residence for Spanish kings until 1734 when Charles of Bourbon became the king of Naples and made this palace the official seat of the monarchy. The palace was eventually given to the state in 1919 and became a home to the National Library. The palace embodies a fascinating history and it was passed through many royal families during its 300 plus years as a royal palace for those that ruled Naples. Today, it's recognized as an autonomous museum of significant national interest and welcomes visitors from all over the world. It houses stunning paintings, sculptures, furnishings, and tapestries. Three central gardens and three courtyards are also filled with beautiful landscaping and art. One of the main areas of the Royal Palace that you must visit is the historic apartment. The apartment is comprised of 30 rooms including the court theatre, royal chapel and throne room. Outside the palace you'll see eight marble statues, each representing the various kings of Naples. Checking out this zoo di Napoli is a fun and affordable attraction if you're a nature lover or you've got some bambinos in tow. As far as zoo goes, it is on the smaller side, but it is immaculate and it's home to a surprising variety of plants and animals. The zoo is home to over 400 animals and 200 plant species with a mixture of traditional enclosures and botanical gardens. There's certainly enough to make half a day of it. Unique animal species that call Zoo de Napoli home include the black rhino, small African antelope, king vulture and Arabian oryx. A metro station is probably not what you'd think of when coming up with the best things to do in Naples. However, this is no ordinary subway hub. The Toledo metro station is more like an art installation and is said to be the most beautiful metro station in Europe. It's part of a cooperation between the Naples Public Transit Department and local artists to bring a little bit of art into people's everyday lives. Each level of the metro station is decorated with a different colour palette, each representing the city of Naples. There are mosaics to represent different moments in the city's fascinating history. There are special nods to Mount Vesuvius and the Tyrrhenian Sea with the use of volcanic stone and LED lights to represent the movements of the sea. It's just a gorgeous space to be in and a great place for some Instagramming. Located next to the Royal Palace of Naples, you'll find the extraordinary Teatro di San Carlo. This beautiful opera house first opened in 1737 and is the oldest opera house in the world. It features stunning ceiling frescoes and a horseshoe shaped auditorium. This stunning theatre is one of the main symbols of the city and one of the best things to see in Naples. Within the theatre you will find the Memory and Music Museum. It features interactive displays of theatre artefacts, costumes, books and more. The Teatro di San Carlo is also home to an orchestra, choir, children's choir, ballet and dance school and still hosts events and live performances to this day, including classic Italian plays, ballet dancing and symphonies. If you have the time, I highly recommend buying tickets to a show here for an experience to treasure for a lifetime. Finally, after a long day of hiking around Naples and filling yourself to the brim with pizza and limoncello, Watching the sunset from Posipillo Hill is an unforgettable experience to cap it all off. The Posipillo area is chock full of stunning historic architecture, ancient ruins and heavenly vistas. This romantic spot overlooks the Gulf of Naples and it is a perfect place to end your day. You'll enjoy a breathtaking view of the city and Mount Vesuvius and in this fading light it's a great way to see Naples in a new light and reflect on your memories of this fantastic city. So, as you can see, Naples has much to offer, 
from Castel Nuovo to the hidden underground tunnels and delicious Neapolitan cuisine. Exploring Naples is an adventure with something different at every turn and it's one of the more unique cities in mainland Italy. Hopefully this video has inspired you to visit the beautiful city so you can see for yourself. If you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you again soon.